Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. that I'm going to the store. I can't send tweets for you. Sorry about that. Siri can't send tweets for me. I think you already knew that because you probably tried it if you've tried Siri, if you're still using Siri on a regular basis. But even though Siri can't send tweets for you directly, there is a way to have it send tweets for you or potentially even post messages to other social networks like Facebook. So if you want to use Siri to post messages to Twitter or Facebook, uh, we can tell you how. We've shown you how. We've outlined it for you in the article. That is aptly titled, How to Update Your Facebook and Twitter with Siri. Go ahead, pull up the article right now. We can we can look at it together. See, let's see here. I'm going to go ahead and look at the article on LockerGnome.com. There we go. You got it? You're, are you with me? Let's go ahead and make sure that uh, we like that article. Okay, I like the article. Uh, okay, and we're going to tweet it, and we're going to plus one it, because we can do that on all Locker Gnome articles. And, uh, yeah, if you hadn't realized, all you need to do is add the mobile number for Twitter or Facebook, and then just send a message as you would uh, a, uh, a message that you would send to anybody who had a mobile number. And so you can post that way. That's how you get Siri to post to networks that may not have a conduit that Siri can actually use. So if there are any other services that you might use uh, that have a mobile number that you could text to, send an SMS to, uh, you could do the same thing. And just name it something in your address book that's not called Twitter directly. Because as you know, as I demonstrated there, uh, if you say Twitter, it's going to say I I can't I can't do anything to it, and so that may provide that may be more of a challenge. Uh, if you add Twitter to your address book, it may work still, but you don't want to confuse Siri. I'd probably name it something unique. That's just me. Now in the article it says yeah you can call it Twitter if you want. Uh, the Twitter number by the way is four zero four zero four. Uh, so go ahead and add that to your address book. And then you can also send other commands to it, not just messages. And we've outlined uh, all those options for you again uh, in the article. And then for Facebook, uh, according to the article, it's 32665. So if, if you're lost on any of this, the bottom line is if you want to use Siri to update your networks or really anything that has a mobile number you can text messages to, uh, you can use it. Why not? I mean, it's there, right? I mean, I'm assuming you use Twitter and Facebook. Don't you? I can't. I know I'm not the only one. There are like millions of you out there. There are. I know there are. So uh, give it a shot. And if you need further directions on how to go through all the nuances, if you've never done it before, this is one of the reasons why we put these articles together and put them in conjunction with uh, videos. So there you go. That's how you update Twitter and Facebook and other uh, really services that use mobile numbers by way of Siri. And whether Siri understands you or not, that's a completely different video. Are you guys still even using Siri? I, 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 I really don't. I don't much anymore. So uh, I don't know what you're waiting for. Take a look at the article and hopefully you like it.